that happened when I got my first girlfriend. And how I came to learn what could save you years was by starting to pretend I was someone else that I actually wasn't so that this girl who came into my life would like me more. And usually, before she came into my life, I was more of this fun person who would just joke around more and just be more enjoyable to be around. But when I started pretending like I was someone else that I wasn't so that this girl could like me more, I pretty much just lost that aspect of my personality. And I started to feel like I didn't even really know who I was. And something that played a huge part in making me feel like I didn't really know who I was was the fact that I watched so much content and researched so much so that I could be more of the type of person that this girl would be more attracted to. And without me even knowing it, I pretty much just started to create and mold this mask that I started to wear all of the time, which ended up in me just wasting so much time pretending to be someone I wasn't. And a big reason why I wasn't being more of myself was because I didn't know if I were to be more of myself if this girl would just leave. But despite that, I decided to try anyway. So I started to do things like look up more videos on how to be funny so that I could gain that part of my personality back. I started to try more new things like MMA and figured out more of what I actually liked. And I started to want to be myself more and more with time because I realized that if I wasn't myself, I couldn't improve myself because I would be somebody else. And I also just didn't want to be fake, but something was still holding me back from being my true authentic self. And what was holding me back was a fear that if I started to be myself, this girl would not like me anymore. I was afraid that if I just pretty much took off the mask, she wouldn't like what she saw. So I pretty much just fell back into the cycle of watching more content and researching more to be more of the type of person that this girl would be attracted to. And I just started to lose myself more again. But I decided that I was done putting on a fake image just to please a girl. And after I decided that I was done, I realized something that completely changed my life. And what I realized was that if I was being this fake type of person and this girl liked me for that fake person, then she wouldn't like me for who I actually was. And once I realized that, I realized something else that changed my life, which I'll talk about in a minute. But once I realized the first thing, since I didn't want to be liked for someone that I wasn't, and didn't just want to be acting like this fake person for my entire life, since I didn't want it to be like that, I started to actually be more of myself. I started to take the mask off a little bit more. And since I started to be more of myself and just had so much more mental freedom, I started to enjoy life more. But those things weren't the only things that happened. But since like attracts like, and I was being more real and authentic, then I was better able to actually see through the fake people and attract the authentic people. So I could actually see more of which girl was worth putting my time, efforts, and energy into. But the same goes for the opposite. You don't only attract the people who are like you, but since you can see through the people who don't align with your values or with who you are, you can also almost repel the wrong people. So I wouldn't have to waste so much time on girls who weren't actually worth being with. And in a way, being more authentic became almost like a test for me. Because if I was starting to be myself, my true authentic self, and a girl didn't like that, then she could leave. Because I don't want a girl who likes me for someone I'm not. But if I started to be my authentic self and a girl liked that, then she might be the right one. And after I started to experience all of those benefits, I realized a second thing. And the second thing that I realized was that I not only needed to be myself, but I needed to become the best version of myself instead of becoming the best version of someone else. And since I realized that I needed to actually optimize who I was, I started to put in more work to optimize that. But something else started to happen and how I like to put this experience into words is by imagining that I'm walking on a path. And this is a path that I chose to take. But the thing is, there's also other people on this path. But when you start the path, you might not be with those other people for a while. But if you continue down the path, you're going to come across the people who are also walking it. And I realized that I could apply that to dating. If I chose to optimize and better myself and chose that path that I wanted to take and continued down it for long enough, then I would eventually start to meet other girls who are on that same path who are also working to better themselves and optimize who they are. And since I started to work harder to become the best version of me, I started to enjoy life so much more because in my opinion, life is way more enjoyable when you are working towards something that is more of a challenge to accomplish and something that you get to wake up every day and pursue. And since I was doing all of these things and optimizing who I was, then I was better able to actually attract the right girl when she came into my life, but also be able to see more of who the fake girls are so that I wouldn't have to waste my time and possibly years pursuing someone who wasn't worth pursuing. So what I think we should do is be ourselves, but not just be ourselves. I think we should work to become the best version of ourselves. And if you do that, I believe that you will attract the right woman 
who is attracted to who you actually are instead of just a fake version of you. And that's what could save us years when it comes to dating. That if you are being yourself, you will attract the girl who likes you for who you actually are. As long as you're working as hard as you possibly can to become the best version of yourself. I hope you got some value out of this. And as usual, keep working hard to make you feel yourself proud. Click and watch this right now to improve your dating life more. And I'll see you in the next video.